ask, can you turn it off before Warner Music uh, closed me down for copyright infringement? Arseholes. You know what? It's uh, it's nine degrees. It's dropped to quite a bit. It's not got really warm. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Pen. Quite a few of you online. Peter. How are you? Blue sky. It got to a massive 12 degrees here in Sweden today. I have to shave tomorrow before I've done my TV. Don't forget tomorrow, 5 Central European time, from Fremlab, state of the art studio, broadcasting. You can go on YouTube to see it streaming. It's YouTube, uh, be Rudd Stewart, or on Vimo, or on Vimo, and a couple other places. I'll be doing a live feed on Facebook as well, just for the hell of it. But, right. I've come under for a lot of abuse today. I'm free, yeah, uh, well, how long that'll last I don't know because we'll have to see the next couple of days how it goes with Sweden's strategy, Pete. Because today the amount of uh, coronavirus infections has spiked quite a lot. Uh, it's gone up a few hundred new uh, cases. And the death was 79 yesterday. So that's uh, obviously whatever China's done to us is, is very nasty. Yeah, but that's UK. This is Sweden, mate. And then don't forget, two weeks ago, when I got back from New Zealand, it, were, it was two degrees plus. Two degrees. I came from 28 in sunshine to two degrees and freezing my nuts off. But at least I got home, so I'm not bothered. I got home. And I'm going to get used to this because it's not going to happen. Spain this year it's just not going to happen I was uh, reading through all the Spanish through all the Spanish papers talking to a lot of people and friends in Spain about their situations there and believe me Spain's going to be a different place to the one that I loved when this is all over and done with not just but everywhere is this is a reset button there's a, quite a few of us have been calling saying this is a reset, it is a reset. Can't get around that fact. But I've been reading through all the Spanish uh, media, picking up, and I've, I've purposely uh, highlighted Pedro Sanchez, purposely done it. Because uh, I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, and I never have done. He came in to Parliament on a socialistic ticket, which is actually a fascist ticket, and he didn't have enough of the vote in the beginning, so they had a, another rerun. They've had four elections in four years in Spain, even worse than our mob. But I've been just I've been searching through all the things he's said, his quotes. If I didn't understand it, I've been having it translated. Nobody gives a fuck about it, you're switching off. But simple facts. 18 months ago, Pedro Sanchez said that by 2022, there will be no poor people or homeless Spanish people in Spain. And he said that by 2022. And look at his actions today. And I'll tell you what he's doing. He might just achieve that. He also brought up how difficult it's been for me, being British, to uh, get my residential renewed. I, I couldn't because they didn't want me to because I'm British and they blamed it on Brexit. And in actual fact they've done me a favour because I will not be going back to Spain. We've sat, discussed it and gone through everything and our options and I've bitten the bullets on that apartment. Um, adios. But he he said that 18 months ago, and now next week they're rolling out a universal wage. And by universal, I mean everybody. 22 degrees in North Wales, in the sun or for reality. They are rolling out a wage because of coronavirus where everybody will get the same wage and that's to help them uh, 
overcome the crisis after the crisis, if you like to say, because it's going to be a monstrous crisis. Monstrous. What it means is everybody working are all going to earn the same. They're disguising it as a safety pack. They're disguising it as a... That they're doing a, a big deal for all the minimum wages. Anybody who's got a shit job, they're going to get the same wage as anybody who's got a good job. Disguised as protecting the poor. Actually, all it's going to do is rip the middle class to shreds. Rip it to shreds. You're going to have a two-tier society. Hello, Alexander. How are you, mate? You're going to have a two-tier society. Those who are very rich and who have and everybody else all on the same wage and this is how they are going to finance the destruction of democracy in Spain well, Spain is Europe's youngest democracy and it didn't last very long did it never mind I don't live there anymore and I don't think we ever will again I was talking to a friend the other day and he said, what we're going to do? I said, look, look at it. Well, I was talking to him after he, I showed him the scaffolding that I've been climbing up and down, which is, what, seven, eight metres high. It might not sound a lot, but if you fall, it's not enough to kill yourself, but it's enough to snap your neck or your back. And he, this is what he works with. And he said, although I built the scaffolding right, it's totally not right. It's, there's no supports or, or stabilising poles, whatever they are on the side. And he said it's deadly. I survived. And I've done the house. I've washed it all down. Special. When a house is wooden, you have to treat it before you paint it. And you have to do it because, obviously, wood rots. So I've done that. That's what I've been doing at Easter. And I'm knackered. And I can't be asked to cook today, so I'm going to get a, a McDonald's. Fuck it, why not? Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Well, anyway, I've got nothing else to say today. Always look on the bright side of life. I really feel sorry for all my friends who are locked up in isolation across the world. I'm reaching out to my friends in America, Spain, United Kingdom, New Zealand, Australia. China attacked us and they should pay for it. That's what I think. And the New World Order sees the moment and the change in the way we live our lives forever. And as long as my children don't suffer, move. Fucking move, you're supposed to drive in the middle, you dickhead. As long as my children don't suffer, they can do what they want with this world. And I'm resigned to the fact that I now live in Sweden. I'm resigned to the fact that Brexit's not gonna happen. And I'm resigned to the fact that the New World Order are gonna dictate how we live our lives. But I've got myself a good job. What more can anybody ask for? McDonald's. That's what I can ask for. Have a great Easter. Don't forget what Jesus Christ did for us all. You know, it was Jesus Christ's kids. Get a book, it's called the Bible, and read up on him. Take care, ta-da.